Say that again. This is why we want to go to contentment. What? That. The train? Yes. Honk! <laughs> Honk! <laughs> I'm E. Chip. And we're with Contentment. We had the opportunity a few days ago to go to Rock and Sea Homestead and meet Lance and Marcy. They were part of the Self Reliant Road Show with Prep Study Bob and Mrs. B, which is a new endeavor to bring community and fellowship to the homesteading community. We went down to help with a project on their homestead to help bring water closer to their garden and to their goat pen. We're here today on a self-reliant roadshow work day and it's been a really, really fun day. We got to help rock and see, put in a water line for a spigot water faucet thing so they could water their garden more easily and we got to meet a bunch of really nice new people we had good food it's just been an amazing day and we've got different people with us from different uh, YouTube channels and I'll let them tell you who they are Black Label Homestead we're Rock and Sea Homestead Prep Center Bob and Mrs. B and the Self Reliant Roadshow and Cal from Hedge Apple Acres it's more fun than a barrel of monkeys. It really is. <laughs> it has been a really great day. This is, you know, getting to know more about these people, their backgrounds, what they are doing, why they homestead. It's been really nice getting to have um, fellowship with these people and enjoy just the day, getting to know people and good food and good food and fun. <laughs> it's been great. Yeah. Thank you, Rock yes. and Sea, for having us. Yes. Oh, thanks yeah. for coming. Thank you all thanks for, for coming. letting us come yeah. over and do uh, this. You're more than welcome. This was great. Yes, thanks so much. We you're welcome it. to contentment anytime. Both each of and I really value camaraderie and friendships with people because this can be kind of a, a lonely niche. Finding like-minded folks, establishing a community in your local area, and friendships and sort of encouraging one another is important. And so that's sort of what we wanted to do. I and mean, that was our motivation for joining with Lance and Marcy. I really like the fact that someone like Prep Setter Bob and the Self-Reliant Roadshow is a catalyst uh, for initiating that kind of um, fellowship and togetherness. We had a good time. It was nice to meet people and to learn what they're doing on their homesteads. One of the good things about the Self-Reliant Road Show, to me, is that it is bringing people closer together. As we grow and branch out, the more people become involved, the more opportunities we'll have to share, exchange information, exchange skill sets. You know, if I have a problem doing X and somebody over there knows how to do it, we have this uh, relationship established so I can reach out and say, hey, I know that you do this. Why don't, you know, can you give me some advice or some help? Yeah, you know, <clears throat> we went to help out Lance and Marcy put in a water line from their well to their garden area. And frankly, I mean, if they, if they, if they chose, um, they probably could have, uh, you know, rented a trencher and run that line themselves or maybe with just a couple of people. But... I really like the idea that a whole bunch of people showed up to help. And, um, you know, that's the thing. It's not so much about helping somebody get a water line put in so much as it is establishing relationships and friends, making friends, and being a resource to one another. And that's, I guess, sort of this video, we want to encourage you all to do that. If there's someone in your area who needs help, help them, and they'll help you. You know, just you know, work out those relationships, establish those friendships, love on each other, and make it work for everybody. Yeah.